Well, hey guys, this is Mr. Schneider at Yorktown Middle School. I'm the director of bands here, and I'm talking to you today about brass. I want to talk to you just about brass instruments for just a few minutes. Brass instruments are instruments that you buzz into with your lips. And the way you buzz, an easy way to work with kids to help them see if they can actually do this is, is just to say, just to make your lips say the letter M. So everybody say M. And then once you say M, keep it pressed and push air out to kind of make it sound like an elephant. M. Sometimes I even have the kids do like they did in elementary school where they pretend to be, you know, uh, animals and things. And so they'll do like an elephant trunk and they'll go just like that. If you can make any sort of sound with your lips, then you can be a brass player. It's very simple. And uh, brass instruments play on mouthpieces that are as small as this, which is a trumpet mouthpiece, and as big as this, which is a tuba mouthpiece, and everything in between. There's French horn, there's trombone, there's baritone. There's a few of them I'll show you here, but you have the uh, small ones. Now the small ones, you want to be a little bit tighter when you buzz, so that's what that mouthpiece sounds like. The bigger ones, you can be a little bit looser. For a tuba, you can just go, you can be nice and loose for those instruments. Um, and that's how you make the sound. You, you just you take a big breath in and you buzz into a mouthpiece, just like that. So I'm going to show you the instruments here to give you a better idea. I know there's videos down below, probably on the page you're looking at, um, uh, that help you see um, the instruments too. Let's start with um, let's start with ones that Yorktown Middle School doesn't own, which means uh, the parent would need to to acquire it if they were going to play it. Um, this is a trumpet. Now, don't please don't mind everybody. There's there's a bell cover on every one of these instruments, and even a MERV filter uh, sticking out. And the reason we have the bell cover and everything on is because of COVID right now, and that, that might be different next year. Maybe we won't even need them. Who knows? Uh, based off guidelines, but right now we have bell covers. That's not actually part of the instrument. That's just a cover for the instrument. But this is what a trumpet looks like. It's pretty small, and um, once again the trumpet mouthpiece, and it just goes in right here, and it sounds kind of like this. It goes. You can go pretty high, you can go pretty fast. You know? Um, and it has a, a few things on it. It's got some valves that move out and in. It's got uh, uh, pistons that you push down to make the notes change. A spit valve right here, if you ever have spit <laughs> in the horn. When you buzz, you naturally make a little bit of spit. It's just kind of naturally how it works. So that's a trumpet. That's one that, that we don't own at Yorktown, which means that to play it, you would, um, you would go to uh, Music and Arts to acquire it, and I'll teach you how to do all that. It's not incredibly expensive. Um, another one that we don't uh, own currently that, we, that kids actually rent out, but this is called a trombone right here. This has a slide. This is a trombone right here with a slide. And this is a fun one. This is the one I grew up playing because uh, the slide can sound really kind of jazzy and bluesy. And it can kind of sound like this. And it can go pretty high. And it can go pretty low, too. So that's a fun one right there for, for jazz. Now, um, if you uh, wanted to rent from the school, now this is, again, this is one of my favorites, trombone here. This is what I grew up playing. But if you wanted to um, rent one that the school actually owns, um, you could uh, rent the baritone, which does the same thing that a trombone does, except it doesn't have the kind of the greasy slide sound to it. Um, so it's, a, it's pretty cool. It's kind of, some people call it a mini tuba, but it's not. It's either called a baritone or a euphonium. And this is what it looks like. It's exactly the same length as a trombone. It just has more tubing apparatuses because you have keys. So that's baritone right there. Again, same thing can go high. It could also go really low. Just like a trombone, it just doesn't have that ability to do that 
uh, that bluesy slide thing that the trombone could do. Um, but, uh, let me show you, so that's one um, that is rentable from Yorktown. Uh, let me show you another one that's rentable from Yorktown here. This is, um, where to go? I'm looking for my French horn. Uh, oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> French horn, okay. So, French horn, smaller mouthpiece, plays a little bit higher. It can also play a little bit lower. This is maybe the purest sounding horn. <laughs> um, and again, don't worry about the bell cover. That's just not part of the horn. That's just what we're doing right now because of all the COVID stuff. But you have keys like a trumpet does, but. go quite low and quite high also it's just a really really pretty warm sound um, so yeah I like this one a lot too this is a really cool one and then uh, and this is one that's rentable from Yorktown Middle School we have these uh, that can be rented um, and uh, and then last but not least uh, the tuba oh yeah I like this guy too here I'll play a little bit what uh, I'll play um, I'll play something from Grinch, if you've ever heard of the, of the Grinch song from the old classic Grinch cartoon movie. tuba now what's cool about tuba and baritone and french horn if you decide to go that route is uh when you rent it from the school you don't just get one you actually get two um you get one that stays at the house and then one that stays here um that's of course as we have uh, as we have inventory which we usually have plenty of inventory we we're able to give everybody two and that way you don't got to carry a tuba back and forth from home <laughs> or carry a baritone or carry a french horn um, uh, the question some people ask is any one better than the other or is any one harder or easier? It's, 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 they're all about the same to learn. It's just that some of them you have to be looser, some of them you have to be tighter. They all use, you know, air, but then every woodwind instrument uses air too. So it's all kind of in that same vein right there. So uh, hopefully that helped you guys. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.